Hey guys, I welcome you to today's video. So, in today's video, what I will simply um, walk you through is actually how you can activate your extensions for Amazon KDP Book Creator and uh, you want to learn how you can actually activate your extension at the incognito mode. You know, most times, like, I, I'm actually making this video in response to so many, you know, so many requests when it comes to, uh, so whenever I try to use the extension at the incognito tab in my mobile phone, is not working, I don't know, but whenever I switch it back to the normal tab, it works. So this video is going to guide you how you can actually activate your, it's because they are not activated. You know, you all know the reasons why if you're having these issues, you actually know what took you to incognito tab, right? So I shouldn't explain why you're working with the incognito tab because you know that you don't want to get a result based on previous, you know, searches when you're using the normal tab. Because the browser will give you responses based on what you search, based on previous results, related results. But incognito tab will give you new results. I mean, something at least totally different from the previous ones. So before we get started, if you're new to this channel, I welcome you to this channel. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and also subscribe to this channel. When you subscribe, you're actually you know, encouraging me to do better and also to do more. So guys, don't forget to subscribe. For the returning subscribers, just hold your popcorn. You want to learn something different today. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is now I'm actually using the normal tab and I'm using my Kiwi browser. Don't forget you use the Kiwi browser because Kiwi browser is actually a browser that works like the normal window browser. Meanwhile, Kiwi browser is meant to be used on your mobile phone or your mobile device. Okay. So I'm um, actually okay on the amazon.com interface now so i searched for a, a book title which is let's say the genuine bible okay can you see the difference here you see this is work of the amazon suggestion expander this is a key uh, this is an extension here is the extension when you go to the extension can you see how about the extensions here can you see the amazon suggestion expander all right can you see that oh, sorry can you see it here and i also have all these all right but that's not um what i actually want to show you i just want you to know that i have these extensions and they are all activated can you see that this one is activated okay so that one is activated and all the extension they are all activated i have turned all of them i turned them on so they are active but they are more active when i'm using them in the normal tab all right in the normal tab they'll be pretty much active can you see it's actually displaying all these you know suggestions if i search for another title so let's see um, um diet diet uh, let's see diet plan so let's see what we get using the amazon suggestion expander tool so can you see this we have keywords after we have the normal keywords we can actually use okay so that is it's showing us that this keyword is active you know this extension is working all right it's activated but you know we don't normally conduct our research using the normal browser we love switching to incognito tab so that we want to get exact you know keyword we, we 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 want to get something different and not something based on you know not a kind of suggestion based on previous request on the browser okay so switching to incognito tab now you can actually uh, have opened my incognito tab so this is just to when you're on the normal tab just click here and new incognito tab you all know how to switch to incognito tab because you were actually there before you discovered the extension were not working all right so i don't need to teach you how to do that so coming back here now amazon.com i've actually opened the browser or uh, the website rather so incognito tab i want to search for the same um topic geneva bible Okay, so can you see what we get? None of the extensions are actually working here. Can you see? There's a difference between between this. Uh, there's a difference between this interface. All right. Can you see? There's a difference between this interface. What we're having right now, 
compared to what we have here compared to what we get here all right so can you see the surface here all right can you see the difference now okay because of this okay can you see the interface can you see the difference we even have something like keywords before keywords after while on the incognito tab there's nothing like that there's nothing like keyword before keyword after do it type any additional keyword it's not gonna open okay can you see so the only thing you need to do in order for you to get that kind of response it's just for you to come here this one is quite simple come here can you see the three dots at the right hand corner of the screen click the three dots scroll down can you see something all the extensions are inactive have you seen it all the extensions they are inactive so there's nothing you can do about this you won't in fact they won't pop up they won't be activated if you don't turn them on all right you need to come to incognito tab and make sure they are all turned on before they can be used effectively all right so i'll be going with the first one the keyword suggestion expander click this okay so you need to scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down can you see allow so you need to make sure you activate this allow incognito can you see it's actually turned off all right so once i click this then come back to the tab now go back to the geneva bible i mean the search box so now you may want to refresh the page now click the search bar can you see now your the amazon keyword suggestion expander has been activated now we now have the same interface now all your extensions will now be working following the same steps so you can go back and activate all your extensions on the incognito tab so what we have here is the same thing we're having at the, in the normal tab all right so when you come here direct plan can you see we're having the same thing keywords before everywhere and keywords before keywords after the same thing we're having so guys are simply how you actually make use of the extension and you can now conduct your research using the incognito tab without using the normal tab okay because you don't want any link to your previous search some of us will be logging in our account using the same kiwi browser and you don't still want to conduct research carry a research using the normal tab so you need to switch to the incognito tab but the problem majority have been you know complaining what the problem majority have been facing for quite some time is uh, i can't make use of the extension when i'm working on the incognito tab so i hope this video helps you and if you've gained massive value don't forget to like the video once again share and you see and don't forget to do the most important thing after subscribing turn on the notification bell so you could get notified when i drop a subsequent video helpful videos like this so thank you for staying to the very end and implement